Hello and welcome to another excelattheoffice.com how-to video. My name's Adrian and I'm going to quickly show you how to reduce noise in Audacity. Now Audacity is something I use uh, quite regularly um, to enhance audio. One of the, the most common thing I do is try and remove background noise. However, I've noticed that it's really hard to find simple instructions for this common um, need for enhancing audio. When I look at stuff online it's very complex and Audacity is a fantastic free software program uh, for your Windows and Mac. However the instructions and manuals on how to use it is uh, not ideal and it's uh, not intu immediately intuitive. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, what you'll notice here is a is an audio file I've got open already. Uh, you might, uh, if I drag that down, I'll show you um, how the noise presents itself, and I'll need to zoom in. So this is um, a talking audio file. So these uh, spikes are talking into a microphone, but this uh, set of wiggle wiggliness here is just background noise. Um, and this is the bit that we want to remove. So um, what you do is select the section. First step, select the section that you want to remove. Second step, go to um, Effect, Noise Removal and Repair, and Noise Reduction. And before we reduce anything, we get the noise profile. So what we're doing is selecting the noisy bit one or two seconds of background noise so that you're telling Audacity this is the bit that I don't like um, on the Get Noise Profile. Now we go to Select All, go to Effect, back to Effect and Noise Removal and Repair, Noise Reduction, uh, and now we're going to tweak the sliders to actually so we've done step one, now we're going to do step two to actually re remove the noise. Um, so you can choose your uh, the decibels, are somewhere between 12 and 14 is fine so that you're not affecting the rest of the audio so much. Again, you can do sensitivity, generally around 6 is good, and frequency smoothing bands around 3 or 4, possibly 5. Uh, but play about with it. Um, that's the other thing that I found is quite difficult is that no one says what the settings are to use on these sliders but generally through trial and error somewhere in the low teens for decibels somewhere around five or six for sensitivity and um, in the low area for smoothing bands regardless you can preview what effect that has uh, using the preview button here and you can play about with your slider so you can hear whether or not it's leaving um, the noise in. Um, when you preview you can preview either with the reduced noise version which is that radio button there before you click preview or you can preview the residue left uh, or the residue as in what it's actually removing. So that's quite good to preview because what you'll hear hopefully is just the noise, the background noise of the file. What you won't hear is the voices and things you want to keep. If you're starting to hear voices and or music or something like that that you want to keep in the residue, that means you need to reduce your decibel slider a bit, maybe enhance your sensitivity and smoothing bands. But make sure you've always got it on reduce before you click OK, because otherwise uh, on residue it will remove everything else. So I'm going to reduce the noise, click OK. Look at that. See that section now? It's not so wiggly and squiggly. So when you play the audio, uh, particularly voice audio, if you've recorded it in a... Um, recorded some audio outside where there's background noise of traffic or or just a hum as I've um, learned on my laptop when you plug something when you plug your charger in on a Mac and you try and record audio you'll get a background hum 
uh, which I'll share the video on this. Um, now that's nicely gone and you can f uh, export your audio as normal. So that's how to reduce noise in your audio in Audacity. Um, I don't normally cover Audacity or other programs, but I thought I hope you found that helpful. Um, I'll put a blog on this soon as well to outline the steps on my blog, uh, excelattheoffice.com or uh, shorter version eato.blog, E-A-T-O.blog. And I'd very much appreciate it if, along with the usual kudos of um, like and subscribe on YouTube, uh, uh, it would be very helpful if you could uh, contribute a coffee to help with the website fees. Uh, I do this in my spare time and only expense to put this information online for you. So if you can afford to, I'd very much appreciate that. And let me know in the comments uh, how you found this video and whether it helped you. Thanks for your time and take care.